love it. You looking good today. Look at you. You're here even before me. Hey, man, listen, I had to show up for this. Okay. How I'm long like, have you been here? I've been here for an hour waiting on you. You're lying. Hmm. Don't play with me. I'm going to I'm gonna win this. Uh, what do you mean? Nothing. So, <laughs> this is the pineapple show, right? Yes. And uh, you're finally on the other side of the, of the game. Mm -hmm. How do you feel? Do you feel like, are you looking for love? Um, I am. I am looking for love. I'm a little nervous because, you know, we did like 99 episodes with other girls. I see the comments. I see how the people go in on the girls. So mm -hmm. I just hope, you know, it's going to be cool. We'll <laughs> see. Mm -hmm. How do you feel, though? I'm good. I'm good. Like, I'm nervous. I'm You're good. Sweating a little bit. Sweating? Mm. How I take this shit out? Oh, talk to Melly. Oh, okay. You can, you see on top, you can say hide a comment. Where you see oh, okay. all the comments, you can hide them whenever you want. When you put one on, you can hide afterwards. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Mm -hmm. So, um, what do you, what type so, of idea? Do you want to introduce yourself? Because Oh, I my bad. Maybe people don't know me. I'm sorry. My bad. So, <laughs> my name is Jonathan Dupaton, a.k.a. Finesse. I host the Rich and Unemployed podcast, if you're not familiar with it. Uh, check me out on YouTube. Um, the podcast is really, really going fast. Um, you can find me on Instagram, Finesse's Only Club. And I teach people how to finesse, teach people how to wiggle their way through life, how to how to come up, level up. He said, wow, nice. Stephen Cole got small. <laughs> no, nah, Stephen Cole ain't this, uh, this, this big dog tonight. I'm the big dog. <laughs> big dog. Okay. So, um, so, so go ahead. So you're going to lead me tonight. Yes, yes. I want to know what 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 are you looking for when you say you're looking for love? What type of man or woman you looking for? So men, I'm okay. looking for a man. Uh -huh. Look, they, they're already saying Melly is nervous. Yes, I am nervous. Um, it's of so me. I'm looking for a man. Um, I'm gonna say the age range probably 28 to 39. 28 to 39. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. um the characteristic that i would like him to have i want somebody that's really nice i would like somebody that has a lot of ambition um mm -hmm. someone who is family oriented mm -hmm. um somebody smart because you know sometimes it's not all the way there okay yeah and um I don't, oh, and somebody very supportive. Somebody that can understand what I do and mm -hmm. that can also contribute to what they do. Oh, okay. Now, are you looking for, like, is it a height limit when it comes to this? Height limit? Um, yeah, no, probably, well, you know, I'm six feet, so... Five eleven. Six feet. Mm -hmm. and, uh, <laughs> and I would like a man that's my height, but I'm not, you know, against shorter. I've dated 5'5", five, five, that was signed too. But what I about, would like somebody taller than me, if possible. What about weight? Weight. Wow. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't, um, I mean, I don't know really like weight in men, like what's big and what's not. I've dated skinny men, little bigger, or just somebody like muscular, fit. So I'm not, you know, super big on, on the weight as long as you take care of yourself. And mm -hmm. I don't feel like you're going to have a heart attack tomorrow. You know, because you you don't take care of your body. Mm -hmm. That's all. <laughs> okay. Um, how much money they gotta make? Do they could they be a regular guy? Do they gotta make some money? Do they gotta be mm -hmm. make, make a fifty k a year, hundred k a year? Do they gotta be a rapper? Uh, so I would prefer non entertainment people. Uh -huh. That would be my preference. Uh, as far as their money. I understand that money is tough to make for, for anyone. And if you're younger, you know, it's even probably harder. So I would say, I just don't want you to be struggling. I want you to be able to pay your bills and do a little extra at times, you know, not like you don't mm -hmm. got to take me on vacations every weekend or every, every month, but you need to have your, your shit together, kind of. Right, right, right. So I would say... 60, 60K minimum, I would say that. 60, 60K, okay. Yeah, for, for the year. And it's also if you know how to manage your money because it, it's not like, you know, 60K is not 
too too crazy but if on the weekend you're at the club like buying bottles and stuff i'm gonna have an issue with that because i'm like your priorities are not right you're making 60k but you're in the club spending like 2000 i'm like no all right what about last question what about kids are you good with kids or they they can't have kids I would prefer a man with no kids, but I understand in the age range that I gave, it's gonna be probably some men with kids. So I don't mind. I would still prefer no kids, but one, I, I could I could probably be fine with it. Let's get this shit started, man, because we're about to find love for you. And if, if none of you niggas can get this shit right, I'm gonna step in and, and I'm gonna, <laughs> I'll take her. Oh, it's good. Already, okay. <laughs> it's good. Hi. Oh, your mic is off. Ignore. Your mic off. You're on mute. Hey, Melly. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm good. You look good today. Oh, thank you. Only today? Every day. Every day, for sure. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> how you doing, Rich and Unemployed? Bro, I'm good, brother. I'm blessed. That's good to hear. So, um, Melly, congratulations on your uh, special event. Thank you. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm excited. What you excited about? Uh, I'm excited about maybe finding somebody for myself. You know, I'm trying to hook people up, and I'm here, single as hell. So why not? Absolutely. What mm -hmm. are you looking for? I mean, I've, I've been following you for a while. You know, I've blasted you with messages and everything. So, I mean, what are you looking for tonight? So I'm looking for, I mean, I, ju I just said it. You didn't uh -huh. hear I can, I, I can repeat. I want somebody that has no, Very condensed. Very, try to sum that all up in like maybe like six words. All right. Nice, smart, ambitious. Um, okay, that's going to be one word. One kid or just one kid. That's fine too. I, and, I don't want a bunch of kids. Why not? Yeah. Why and not? um that has his shit together. How many people are you looking for tonight? Just one. Damn. Just one? Okay. Yeah, well, what do you mean? Uh, oh, I mean, you could be husband. looking for a boyfriend, a husband, friends, all sorts okay. of things. Okay, well, we can, we can start uh, looking for a boyfriend. Okay. And then hopefully he will become more than that. Cool, cool. Do you see a boyfriend in me? No. Okay. Do you see a friend in me? No. Okay. Cool. Well, I wish you the best of luck in everything that you do tonight. Thank you, Igno. All right. See you. See you. Well, well, why not? Why? What, what didn't you? Why not? Like well, that? me and Igno have some type of history. Oh, you know the guy? Yes, I knew him. So he kind of like went a little crazy in my DMs, on my Patreon, you know, so I was just like, I, I can't do it. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. So some history. Okay. It wasn't just him. Mm -hmm. All right, my bad. Okay, okay. Next caller. Your, your mic. Take hey, off. hey, Mel. Where your face hey. at, brother? Okay. Right here. Hi, hey, Mel. Just the one, oh. just the one. Hey, Mel. How okay, uh, hey, Richard. I'm doing good. How you doing, Rich and Employee? So congratulations, first off, on Melly reaching your 100th episode of The Pineapple Show. Thank you. So, uh, well, if Rich, I know you know me a little bit, but not know me fully, but I'm going to explain to Rich on the play. So I come from the Caribbean islands. I live in Minnesota. I'm 28. I, um, I'm very ambitious. I'm very smart. And Mel actually knows this. I'm actually a very sweet, romantic person, and I do have my shit together. I do live alone. And I don't have any kids. So... Like, and I like I've been following I've been following Melly since day one since she very first started. So I've been a real like loyal fan, but I haven't been like the other man on her on on here or like that's been after her like being all crazy in the DMs. So I've been kind of like very patient, but also very being very humble. How old are you? And I'm 28, and I do want kids. I I do want kids one day. So I yeah, don't have any kids right now. Okay. How's your dating life? My dating life is pretty is is, is going pretty well. Like I, I'm dating a lot around, like seeing see what's right for me, like keeping my options open, like you know trying to find my perfect match. And honestly, I 
I kind of, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't think I was going to be this for, but Mel, I have, I have a secret that I really wanted to tell you for a while, for a long time, but what is I it? Just, you know, ever since, the, since I first met you, like it was, it wasn't your beauty or your looks that really got me. It was your personality, your character, your energy, your vibe, because for me, I'm not a man about looks. I'm a man, I'm a man of, of intuition, I'm more of substance. I gotta see who you are, how you act, how you roll, how you vibe, and what your energy is like. That's what I really go for. Mm -hmm. Like I'm all about energy. And honestly, so the secret I wanted to tell you, I've always had feelings for you, but the reason why I never told you, like, because I I didn't want to be too obvious, and I didn't want to like yeah, like I said, I don't want to be, I didn't want it to be obvious. I wanted to the right time, to like actually tell you and I think this is the perfect time so I have feelings for you <laughs> and like no I'm being no I'm being completely honest I'm going to be blunt I'm going to be blunt I have feelings for you and I would love to get to know you more and like and see where things go between you and me well you have me out here speechless um well um Okay, let me ask you a question. How do you feel like your lifestyle would work with mine? Well, knowing that your lifestyle, like you being a YouTuber, you have your Patreon, and like you being about business and you having your own dealership and stuff like that. I'm very supportive. So, like, I'm okay with my lifestyle and your lifestyle, like, cohesing together, like, coming together. So, I don't mind, like, you say you want someone that's supportive of you, someone that's going to stand behind you and support you no matter what you do. Yeah. Um, so I have no problem with that. I, I think you shot the best shot you could, brother. <laughs> <laughs> okay, pineapple. Okay. See you at the end, brother. Um. Yeah. I don't. I. I don't. I don't know. Oh, I got feelings for you. Oh, you got it's somebody good. else. Okay. Hi. Boom. Hi, Sherry. How you doing? Good. How so, are you? Right here? Second time shoot, my boy. Oh, of course. I'm about to say. Second time. Big Zo. Oh, he the one. This the one. This the one. I know. I knew I was the one. I knew I was the one. One, nigga. All right. So you know, his camera fucked up right now, but this nigga is the one. How you know that? Let's get. What? Can you hear me? Yeah. So anyway, I'm happy so, to be here. So, you want to talk to me? Of course. I tried to talk to you before. Remember the other day you put up a picture and you was like, if you wanna if you want me to uh speak up, and I said I want you real bad, and you like my comment? Remember that? I liked it. You did. Okay. So, so talk to happened? me about your, talk to me about yourself. Where where are you from? Or where so are you at I, right now? I live in Miami. Okay. Um, I'm a serial entrepreneur. I'm actually at work right now at one of my businesses. Um, I haul cars. I have to bring some exotic cars to Orlando for the classic. Wait okay. on the clients to bring them back so I can bring them back home. I've been working for 24 hours. I'm tired. Um, I got a couple of other businesses. Oh. Okay. Who's calling you? Answer that. You sell drugs? No, I don't. Scam? No, I'm, I'm no. picking up some cars right now. Actually, okay. so it's funny because, you know, you're into... Yeah. Where them guys at? Anyway, my cousin, he about to mess shit up. Um, so it's funny that you're into the exotic cars, so I'm into that too. Mm -hmm. What's cool is that I think that our lifestyles align. Um, I have a background with the music. I used to have a, I still have a music label, but I'm not active with it. Um, okay. I have a couple of other businesses. Okay. Know. How old are you? 39. You have kids? I have a, I have a 10 year old son. What's the and, relationship um, with the mom? Actually, we co parent very well. Um, I was actually at her boyfriend's birthday party on Friday. Me and him get along very well as well. Okay. You know? So, yeah, that's there's no drama of that. You know what I'm saying? That's how it so is. You, so you sure she don't want you no more? Nah, that's done. We've been broken up since 2015. Now we're just, we're family, obviously, but, you know, we'd like to consider each other good friends. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, okay. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, what do you expect uh, when you enter a relationship? 
Ooh, okay. I mean, I just like to, for one, enjoy each other's time. Um, you know, obviously we come, we have two separate backgrounds and, you know, we have to take two separate lives and put them together. So I think it's important to um, understand that walking into it, you know, you're uh, in entertainment and your lifestyle comes with a lot of things. I'm actually familiar. I've actually dated in the lifestyle already. It went very well. Then it didn't, but that's neither here nor there. Um, but overall, I mean, you know, you got you guys got to focus on each other and, you know, you got to date with intention. You know, you have to have a reason that you're dating. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Especially me at this age, I'm 39, you know. Do you want to did that already. Uh, of course, definitely. Just the right way. I don't even know to baby mom. Okay, so you're going to marry me first? Absolutely. What is your time frame to get married? If me and you, we date right now. I'm your girlfriend. How long it takes you for you to, uh, get, to propose? We can get married in six months. We can get married in a year. We're going we're gonna to get married when it feels right. When we know, when I know that you want to marry me and you know that I want to marry you, 100%, not 99. Okay. How much uh, do you weigh? How much do you weigh? 215, six even. You want me to stand up? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you asking? I'm going to say yes. Yeah, and no, I'm pretty sure. 215, 6'7". Even. Okay. Are you nervous? <laughs> no. Yes. Okay. No, I'm a little okay. nervous, you know. Okay. Me too. I got like a little palpitation, yeah. you know. Butterflies. Okay. okay. Yeah. What, um, so what are your needs? Well, how, how about this? Before we go there, what is it? What is it? You said what you're looking for already. I think that a lot of things that you said um, align with, you know, who I am and what I have going on in my life, in my life at this time. Mm -hmm. So, um, I mean, again, my needs, I'm a very, very busy person, you know, but I'm just looking for a companionship. I'm looking for a friend first. You know, I think that people date for the wrong reasons and um overall you got to be friends with somebody first you know what i'm saying especially mm -hmm. if you have any intentions of moving it past boyfriend girlfriend level you know what i mean i think that if you get married one day you're going to marry your best friend you see what i'm saying yeah I not agree. the fake not the fake best friend between a guy and a girl but like <laughs> your real best friend the one that you really can just be 100 percent yourself with back and forth between both parties and that's what i'm looking for mm -hmm. okay do how you feel about a woman I not a lot about being 215. what'd you say how you feel about a woman not cooking i actually like to cook i'm actually a very good cook so you know i'll teach you how to cook if Wait, you don't I, don't to learn. I don't want to learn how to cook why not because I don't want to. Okay, well, I mean, I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. For now. Oh, no, we'll, talk, we'll revisit it later. Okay. To be able to compromise, I believe. Do you have Exos Pro? What, what you said? He don't have Z -Z 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 Wait, I... Okay, uh, I feel... You're telling me what I want to hear. I'm so, not. I'm telling. You, I'm telling you what. I'm telling you my package. I it just know. so happens to be what you're looking for. Today's your lucky day. Oh, look at me, <laughs> lucky. My, more my lucky day though. Pineapple. Okay. How you feeling so far? I'm fucking nervous. I'm like, yo, relax. You know, if if you feel me like not really interacting questions, mm -hmm. or you know, you can ask him questions too, or ask me. Mm -hmm. So you can help me out a little I bit. I got you. I got you. I got you. They're talking about I gotta I gotta go faster. I'm like, 
I'm so what we're gonna to do is I'm gonna limit it down to about uh, about four minutes. Four so minutes. Like, you got you got four minutes to to give you a quick spill. You know we ain't trying to sit on here all night and look at each other's eyes and shit. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna get this shit going. Okay. Listen, when y'all come over here, come correct. Because if y'all don't get it right, y'all seen I came suited, right? She came suited. I might have to take out after this. <laughs> you hungry? Always. <laughs> Say less. Next. Hello. Hello. How are you, Millie? Young thug. I'm great. How are you? I'm good. Mm, today's your show, and I'm so happy to, to be speaking with you. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Now I got some questions for you. Yes, go for it. Okay. First of all, I like your green eyes. They are very beautiful. Yeah, they, you are very beautiful, and I'm attracted to you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, the, what I want to know from you is that is hmm, okay. I'm a I'm an entrepreneur. Okay. Learn how to speak English, man. Fuck all that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? Sorry, buddy. See you oh next my time. God, you didn't just do that. Okay. See you next time, buddy. Sorry. God damn. What's good, bro? Was good. That was mean, though. I know. Ça dit quoi? Ça dit quoi? Uh, rien de spécial, ça va? Ouais. Ça va bien. Ça va bien. What's going on, though? You look a little bit nervous today. I know. I'm in the hot seat. It's a little different. In the hot seat. Now you know how it feels like, right? Mm-hmm. Shit. Well, it's cool. Wait, how old are you? Me? Yes, you. I'm grown. You're what? Enough. Grown enough. No. Nah. Man, you know how old I am. I told you already. Are you? I don't remember. Are you under 28? Under 28? Yes. What do you think? Yes. Find think out. Okay. So like I probably think you're about 25. Yeah. Or... All right, let's, let's keep going. Let's keep this shit moving. Keep this shit rolling. Hello, your mic is off. What's up, Mel? Hi, what's up? Can you hear me? Yes. How you doing? That's you playing music? I'm sorry, is it too loud? Yes. Okay, let me turn it on. All right. Can you hear me now? Can yes. you hear me better? Mm-hmm. You don't remember me, do you? I've known you for a long time, but I haven't seen you in a long in a while. You don't remember no. me? No, I don't. No. Nah. You know my That's uncle right. from DC. I mean, I know you from DC. You don't recognize me? What's your name? They they call me Pro. I My uncle Mark the... Clark. What is it? You don't remember Uncle Mark? Mark Clark. No. We used to all work out together. Nah, you don't remember? But yeah, I but don't. anyway, that's where I know you from. This, this was this was probably like this was a while ago, so I understand if you don't remember. This is probably like 2008, 2009, somewhere around there. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't remember. Okay. Well, anyway, I was, um, I just seen your show a couple of times, and I was like, I remember her from, you know, from back back in the day, so mm -hmm. I thought I would, you know, come in and um, introduce myself, and I guess reintroduce myself. Okay. So what's up? You looking real nice, real pretty. Thank you. So I mean, this is about you trying to, you know, find somebody, you know, that that you, you know, what I mean, that could compliment you. Mm -hmm. And I figured, you know, 
me and you, I mean, I'm in business just like you are. So thought I would, you know, reach out to you and um, see if we make some type of connection. I'm not feeling it. Pineapple. I'm, I'm sorry. Hey. What, was, what was it? It's it's dry. Like, no. I don't know. Maybe I'm dry tonight. Usually I'm more a little more talkative, but you guys got to help me a, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, like it's, it's not... It was they gotta, like, they gotta, they gotta do most of the. You know what I'm saying? They gotta bring the energy in, make you, make you like, laugh or something. Just like, hey, we already then, know you look pretty. Okay, okay? we get it. Okay, we, we know you're pretty. What you? <laughs> I mean, it's what I'm saying. You look good tonight. Listen, you gotta get straight to this motherfucking point. Make a laugh and stuff. Something I don't, I don't know. Hello, Uncle Mac. Mac. Your mic is off. Oh, Uncle we Matt, can't, we can't hear, you. hear you, Uncle Mac. Yeah, come back, figure it out. Man, he left. Um. Yo, AD. What up? Can y'all hear me? Hey, yeah. Yo. Hi. What's up, man? Nothing much. How are you? I'm chilling. What about you? I'm I'm great. I'm here. You're looking, you're looking all beautiful today, though. Gotta give you that. Thank you. Are you? So what's up? You... Wait, are you in your dorm? Are you in college? No, hell no, 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 not in college. Where are you at? In my room, actually. Okay. How old yeah. are you? I'm 28, actually. You're lying. I'm not lying. Do I look? Do I look like? Do I look like I'm not 28? <laughs> yeah. Uh, hell no, nah. I'm not 19. Cause I am 28. Though. I'm 28. I'm from. Uh, I'm actually from Senegal, though, Africa. Oh, you speak French? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay, you have a good in uh, English accent, like or American accent. Yeah. Yeah, because you know I've been uh, I've I've been in America like I've been in New York recently, like it's like. Uh, Three, three weeks ago now, yeah, three weeks ago. I was in New York, actually. Okay. Right, yeah. so, so what's up? Where's your girlfriend? Girlfriend? I ain't got no girlfriend. That's why I'm here today, so. You tell me what's up. I mean, shit, I'm ready to back you in. Pineapple. Damn. You tried uh, it. I tried it. Shit, what's happening? You did all of this? Did what? I don't know. We switched side. No. It's fine. What happened? You hear me? I can hear you. Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's keep going then. Let's get it going. Nelly, what's going on? Hi, me. Tony. What's Oh, you remember my name too. What's going on? First off, I, I see it's been dry. Tony Love is here to get away. Okay. Okay. So, first off, uh, you know, I don't want to be rude. I want to recognize the host. Appreciate you doing this rich suit Thank looking. You, and Melly, we already know you fine as hell. So, you know, we ain't got to go there. Thank you. So let me just say this. Uh, you know, I'm Puerto Rican, born in Philly, raised in Brooklyn, New York, stand-up comedian, professional poker player, living in Atlanta, right? If you will, Melly, could you tell me a little bit about your background and, and coming up and where you're from and, and where you've moved at in the United States? Yeah, so uh, I'm from Paris. I was we born and raised there. Um, then I came to America to play volleyball, and I ended up staying. How old were you when you came to America? Uh, I, I won't say, because then you're going to be able to tell my age. Oh, okay. I mean, you know, I'm 22, 23, but okay, that's cool. Where did you play volleyball at? Uh, in Maryland. Okay. University of Maryland? Mm-hmm. Okay. How'd you get into the uh, the whole YouTube thing? And, and mind you, I think I told you this before. Your YouTube channel is dope. I mean, you know, helping men try to find dates and get women and giving them secrets. I don't know if y'all know or not, but if, if you see her channel, she, she does an amazing job helping guys get women, especially as fine as her. So... How did, how, what made you get into that? Thank you. Um, I was, um, 
I don't know. I was just tired of working for for. They said, uh, a, Nelly. They said I'm a scam. You. They said, uh, "Welcome to my country." <laughs> <laughs> send me one thousand. I send you five million back. I promise you on everything. So <laughs> that's what you do. Nah, that's what they saying in the comments that I'm a scam. You. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Oh, you're fine. So um. So yeah, I was just tired of working for people and I was like, okay, let me figure out this YouTube thing because it thinks like it could work, you know, and I made it happen. Were you scared or nervous at first that it wasn't? No, no, I wasn't because uh, I was like, I'm just going to try and we're going to, we're going to see, you know, what's going to happen. Just work, not work. That's it. Okay. Mm hmm so obviously someone as fine as you doesn't have a problem finding a man or obviously you got plenty of men that, that come after you. What do you think your biggest challenge is finding a man that, that you want? Um, I think I probably don't pick them right most of the time. Also, mm -hmm. uh, with what I do, a lot of men are not really comfortable having a girlfriend or a wife who does what I do. So that's also something. And then it's still like some people are playing games and shit like that. When you say do what you do, are you referring to your YouTube videos or, or your modeling or your Instagram or? Just the whole social media. Do, do you feel like, do you feel like you, you can be intimidating to men? Is that why they don't, like you can't find the right one? I mean, they don't tell me they're intimidated, so I don't want to say that's what it is, but maybe it is. I don't know. Or maybe, I don't know. I used to think, like, if I have my shit together, they might feel like, well, what am I going to bring to her life? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. They don't tell me, so I can't tell you. Okay. Okay. Um, congratulations on the 100th episode as well. That's amazing. Thank um, you. Yeah. Dress looks amazing. When I tuned in, uh, you were doing that Mercedes Benz commercial, the 2022 Benz, and you and you had I don't know if, if that's meant to do that when you click on the link, it did that, and I was just like, okay, she's doing big things with the Mercedes Benz sponsorship. That's dope. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I'm not doing sponsorships, so it was just me reviewing a car. That's all. Oh, excuse me, I apologize. I, I didn't oh, mean to fine, pineapple. I'm not feeling it. I'm trying to be nice and yeah, have like, you know, engage and stuff, but it feels like an interview. I'm like, yo, like that's how you would approach me on the street. I, if you're really interested in me, I don't know. Yeah. Is I'm that like, usually how it go when um when the other girls be on here? Kind of, yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's just I want I want somebody that's gonna come and flirt with me, make me laugh. I mean, not saying I can't do the same for them. Mm -hmm. But just like I'm not feeling the vibe right now, and I'm like, yo, it's kind of dry. Mm -hmm. So um, I don't know. All right, what you got on under that dress? <laughs> Hello, Jay. Mute. Can you hear me? Yeah, we're good. Hi, how are you? Yeah, pretty good. How y'all doing? Can you hear me? Good. How are you? <laughs> I'm sorry, it was a delay. I'm doing great. Great. Uh, how you doing, bro? Um, rich and unemployed. How you doing? But um, before I, I start, you know, I like to give you a compliment, Melly. You know, uh, it's very rare you see attractive women that think logically and have the same mindset as you. So I like to give you a compliment on that because it's a quality to have. So whether you pick me or not, I wanted to tell you that. So thank you so much. Either way. So what do you want to know about me? I know I've been on here a couple times, so. Uh, where, okay, so I don't really remember. So where where are you from? Where are you located now? I'm originally from um, Detroit, Michigan. Currently, mm -hmm. Indiana. I'm the one that works for the government and stuff like that. I'm not a fed, but I work for the government and stuff like that. But um, that's what I do for work. Um, I live comfortable. Okay, question: Do you need a clearance for your job? Um, not a security clearance, but you do get sworn in, and when you get to orientation. They tell you on certain platforms, just keep it private. But it's not nothing crazy, but I'm not like a DEA or nothing like that. So, but uh, it's nothing, nothing of that sort. Let me ask you a question. If you had one night with Melly, what would you do, bro? 
Oh, uh, well, it depends on where we're at. Um, if, if we're in L.A., I don't really know the city that well. So, basically, I would probably take it to a lounge just to get to know because, like, I'm not really in the club scene no more, especially in the way the stuff is now. So, I would take her somewhere like that so we can talk, actually hear each other talk, set the vibe, get dressed up, you know, both smell good, all that stuff. So, that's more the wave I'm on now because, you know, I'm almost 30 years old, so I ain't with the, the rah-rah no more. You ain't say nothing about sex. Hey, that's up to the woman about sex, man. So if I play my cards right, then it, it, it'll work. You know, that's usually how it go. Not so, Miller, would you want him to try try to move or would you just, because she ain't going to tell you. Try to move to where? Like, would you try to make a move? Like, if the night was going good. No. How, who initiates the sex? Uh, I mean, I would prefer the man to initiate the sex, but... Um, but I wouldn't want him to initiate it on the first night. I would feel a little uncomfortable. You know, I think you got to read the vibe. You got to be the vibe. Not, it can't just be the, the don't say it's not like the first it's night. Fucked tonight. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be a little wild. But I mean, if it happened, it happened. But if it happened, it happened, Jay. So, Jay, tell me, if me and you had sex on the first night, would you take me seriously? Yeah. Because I'm going to know what it's like initially. So... And then once we get chemistry, then it'll get better or it may get worse. So it's nothing, it's nothing wrong with that. But um, because the girls who play to get most games usually be the biggest ones who we they got five, six other dudes, they doing something with on the on the background, they making you wait. Mm-hmm. You have serious. So no, nah, I mean I, I just, obviously it just means you feeling me that night, you know. Okay. Yeah, time you had sex. About <laughs> a few months ago. No oh, cap. You, you celibate. No, I'm just chilling. Just chilling, for sure. It's but it's not like I can't. It's just I really, you know, I'm really focused on my grind right now. Hey, listen, I'm all for it, bro. You know? I, ain't, I ain't had sex in maybe three weeks. Melly, how about you? Um, I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> no, because I don't, I don't have count. I didn't put it on my calendar, but it's just like I, I don't be having sex. So I, I cannot really tell you when that was. Got you. No judgment. No judgment. Like last year. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. That was good. But hey. mm-hmm. so are, are you celibate or are you just haven't really found nobody you found cap, uh, capable of that? <laughs> capable. I think a lot of men are capable of well, having sex. Worth your your time, basically, is what I'm saying. Oh, okay, got you. Um, no, I just think um, I don't know. I don't want to keep on having like meaningless sex with like people that I'm not in a relationship with. I'm not saying, I don't want to say like, oh, you got to be my boyfriend to really have sex, but it's like, I need to be talking to you for like a certain amount of time for me to feel comfortable and not go and add another number to, to my fucking roster, you know? Yeah, you got some self, self dignity to you, so that's good. Good quality to have. So, mm-hmm. um, so about me, uh, I like to travel, I like to cook, uh, sneaker, I'm kind of a nerd. But I dress nice, so I kind of, so I'm still, I'm still able to get girls. But I'm, mm-hmm. nerd, I'm a nerd, though, you know. So uh, I that's, like that. And um, keep, I kind of keep myself up. Uh, I'm back on the weight loss journey again because I gained, I lost a bunch and then gained some. So now I'm getting losing it back. I'm down like 17 pounds now, so I'm on that. Uh, nice. I'm about to be 28 in a couple months. Uh, so I have a good job, stuff together. So that's 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 my half on that. And um, other than that, I'm real chill. So like I'm I'm staying out the way because, like I said, it's crazy out here right now. Do you have any kids? No, no kids, no children. Do you? No, I don't. Besides your dog, okay. <laughs> that's not my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Some people consider their dog their, their child. Yeah, that's not my kid. No. Um, you feeling you feeling it, Melly? It's like I like his personality, but I'm not feeling the romantic side. I mean, we can't be romantic for four minutes. You know, <laughs> I okay. ain't taking the round yet. All right, have a go. You Damn, too. Boy, boy, Pineapple. Well, you can't cancel yourself. I can what? I said he couldn't cancel himself. No, I said pineapple. You oh, didn't. I didn't hear that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Right. Well, Millie. I think I gotta be. I gotta be quicker. Quicker, okay. What you think? Tell me what you think. Uh, it just depends on the person. Like, like once it started like getting a little boring, and uh, I got you. 
That one. Oh, Molly. Why, how you doing? Hi. I don't know if you remember me. Also, first thing, I want to apologize because I didn't come correct. Like, usually I always come, like, correct because I saw the email. Like, I take things on a professional level and everything mm -hmm. I do because that's mutual respect. But I'm coming from Georgia to Massachusetts to visit my parents. And um, oh, shit, I'm getting nervous now again. But you look like Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> no, come on, bro. Yo, I know, I know you heard that before. I know you heard that before. <laughs> I, I say pineapple because he came before you say he had a girlfriend. Before? Before, like last week or something. He said, broke up. Well, um, he's not ready for me right now. Yeah. Yeah. Free Melly. So, so wait, you smack, you smack when you eat? Uh, sometimes. If it tastes good enough. Pineapple. <laughs> you chewing gum. I don't care why I need to hear, why I need to see the gum. I, I can't. Like, that's going to, that's, I know people are going to be like, oh, I'm crazy for doing that. But um, that's going to drive me crazy. Somebody that smacks, I can't. I can't. Hmm. Melody, can you hear me now? Yes. How are you? I'm good. How are you? How are you? Good. Thank you. So, Melody, you know I wanted to host, first of all, when you did this. You know I wanted to host, first of all. I mm -hmm. said this to you. But uh, one thing I'm about to say is I'll buy my plane ticket right now if we go on a date. I'll, <laughs> I'll buy my plane ticket right now. Really? You know I'm in Vegas, so there ain't nothing. So. Okay. Um, wait, how old are you? I'm 28. You got kids? No. Except for this dude right here. You can't see. Oh, it's a dog. Okay. You like dogs, Melly? Uh, I only like mine, really. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. You don't even gotta but, be. And it's fine. I mean, uh, uh, it's not like I'm not against dogs. What would you take Melly on the first date if, if you was to fly? Tomorrow. Uh, we're going to go out to eat first so she can feel my vibe. We get to know each other. After that, we probably go, uh, since we're in L.A., I like to go hiking and stuff, depending on what time it is. Sure. We go to brunch in the morning first. Like, if I fly early tomorrow, go to brunch or something first. After that, go walking somewhere. After that, probably go do something competitive. We can figure that out. Not probably not the first night, but if she feeling that, then fuck it. You smoke hookah? Nah. Do you use condoms on the first night? <laughs> of course. What if I tell you I don't want condoms? I don't know what to tell you then. We just probably ain't gonna do it then. Oh, okay. She can't do that. I'm going in raw. Yeah, I should have. <laughs> she. <laughs> nah, I ain't, I ain't got a lot of kicking, man. I'm good on that. I'm going in. Okay. Um... Pineapple. I'm just not interested. We got one for you, Tony Snow. No, hold on, hold on, brother. Your mic is off. Your mic. Excuse me. Salute, King. Uh, salute, Queen. I'm tapping in, man. I'm going to get straight to the point. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to approach it like this. I'll, my kids are grown. I, I work. You know what I'm saying? I got my own career. I'm, I'm set up where I'm independent. I'm confident in myself. I'm not going to be worried about what you do for a living. Because I'm only there to compliment it. And, you know, I don't have those insecurities because I know your occupation and what you do on YouTube and social media draws a lot of men's attention. And if a man can't stand on side of you and support that and not have the insecurities to get weird and all that stuff, then he don't need to be there. So I don't have that problem. So, you know, understanding that we coming in two different lifestyles and all of that. So me personally, if I was going to take you out somewhere on a date, I probably would go to I would want to take you to the beach. Let's walk because, you know, the water is therapeutic. It's relaxing. And then we'll probably just try to face some type of restaurant I can find in Burbank. And we know what I'm saying. And we'll set up a reservation and we'll just go from there and see how we vibe. Okay. How old are you? Me? I am 51. Pineapple. Oh, oh you did it for me. Okay. Sorry, Tony. Tony. Okay. Oh, I got one for you. Hi. <laughs> player, player. <laughs> I'm about player, player. Long time no see. Hello. Good evening, Melly. How are you doing today? I'm great. How are you? I'm very well. Thanks for asking. 
Congratulations on the 100 episodes. Everybody hold your glass up if you got one, whatever you're doing. Cheers to that. Hey, she on the tequila tonight. She on the tequila tonight. Mm-hmm. Jacking that. I'm jacking that. You find your husband yet? You find the love of your life yet? Not yet. I'm still here. Tell me the top three things that would qualify a gentleman for you. Like, what exactly are you looking for? The most important three things. Okay. Nice. Because once I heard, I don't mean to cut you off, but allow me to complete my thought. I once heard that you could either have the physical attraction, the mental or emotional intelligence, and Mm -hmm. then smart. And you choose two of those three. So let's do that. Which of those three, which which of the two are the most important to you? Uh, wait, I, I, I zoned out. You say the looks, the mental, and what's the last one? Looks, emotional intelligence, and lastly, just intelligence, smarts. Uh, I go for emotional intelligence and being smart. Wow. Wow. That's incredible. That means that you are maybe somewhat of a sapiosexual. You no, enjoy. You don't be talking about that. I'm like... I, I I don't know. I don't know if that's what it is, but like you, the looks is not gonna is only gonna take you so far. It can help, don't get me wrong, but I I'll be more attracted to somebody that's smart, that's somebody that just looks good and that's dumb. You indeed, know, indeed. I second that. I second that. I second that. A lot of people tend to forget that. What's your ideal first date? Um. Okay, I'm super simple, so. Anywhere where we can talk and just have a good time. Like, Word. Yeah, it can be anywhere. It can be like a cool restaurant. It can be a hookah lounge. Um, it's so I was, was going to say a hike, but then people have, have been telling me a hike is not safe. So I'm like, that's right. That's not really safe. So maybe not a hike. But something simple, like I don't believe in people spending their money on the first day to like impress me and shit. Cause it's like, you might not even like me. I don't even want you to spend your money, you know, and. It's definitely about, <clears throat> pardon me. It's definitely more so about vibes. It's about the vibe. It's not even about the, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm more so about experience. It's not about where we go or what we do. It's about the experience and how the emotions are evoked during that experience. Like mm-hmm. if you were to go out, course we will grab something to eat but we're not going to roof chris so we're not going to noble on the first day maybe the third but the mm-hmm. first day we're gonna get a 10 piece all flats honey hot hey i like some wings Shit. listen and then we're gonna go to mjq you ever been to mjq in atlanta i, I know have. You- i okay. have like long time ago i didn't even know it was still open Word, we're going to slide by MJ, MJQ, get our groove on, get our sweat on, dance, and then go sit on a rooftop somewhere and overlook the city and just talk, pick each other brain. Okay, wait, 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 I got a question for you. So what's your, what's your real name? My name, <laughs> it's funny you ask that because I never knew my father. So Lucius, the name Lucius is the only gift he gave me, besides life, okay. of course. But I got my name from my pops. I'm the third. Okay. Um, Lucas Matthew. That's okay. me. Okay. So so question for you. Um have you ever had relations with a man? Never. Never. And it's funny. And I don't know what I exude. I don't know what kind of energy I give off that makes people assume that. But never. And the you reason is him. this. I'm going to clear it up for everybody that wonders. The reason is this because I'm open. I'm an open gentleman. I get down, but I just don't like, I don't like men. I feel like men are messy. I feel like men are hairy. I feel like men are just masculine and I'm not attracted to masculinity. I like femininity. I like soft. I like supple. I like, I just like women. So never been with a man, never even considered it. It's not my thing. Now I'm not knocking anybody that's into that. Who you fuck don't make me come. What you eat don't make me shit. So I got mad love for LGBT, QRSTUV, but I'm just not a part of that family. I, bet you I appreciate you for asking though. Like, oh, no problem. People have been saying it. So I'm like, is, is there something? the first one that asked. 
Never. 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 Never what? I'm just answering the question and cementing it. <laughs> okay. Anything else? You just like that all the time? I just got off work. I actually wasn't even going to hop on until I realized Melly was on. And I said, yo, we all been waiting for this for like 100 episodes. So I had to hop on and shoot my shot. But yeah, I'm a wine master. So I just got off work selling bottles. A lot of people grabbing Pinot Noir for Thanksgiving. I hope you got yours. I'm also an author. I also do wine labels. If you go to Wine and Line on Instagram, not trying to promote anything because that's not what we're doing, but I'm just letting you know. Got a book out, published author. I did a book of poetry. So I guess you would call me a serial entrepreneur, a businessman, not a business, man. You always talk like that? I mean, unless, yeah, yeah, actually. I was gonna think of something. <laughs> yeah, this is me. This Pineapple. Is me. Oh wow! Hello. <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Hey. <laughs> what an Pineapple. Damn. Yeah. Did you hear what he had to say? No, he he looks over thirty nine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He didn't stand a chance. Yes. So how did you feel about us? Uh, oh, so Lucius. Um, I don't. I don't. I shouldn't say that, but I'm gonna say it. I don't feel like he's gonna like grab me like I want him to grab me. You I feel like he's gonna nigga grab you by the neck. Huh? You want to grab you by the neck? Grab you by the arm? Yeah, like. Mm -hmm. Let me feel your presence. Not all the time, but I feel like he's gonna be too, too, too gentle. I know it doesn't sound right, right. but I like to be like held kind of tight and like, let me know you're here. And with him, I feel like we're going to get some cool massages and, and we're good. Get your feet done together. Manicures and shit. I don't mind because I know some, I mean, shit. I prefer a dude that gets his feet done than them looking crazy and like hurting me at night in the bed. But... Um, you want a nigga to hurt you at night? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want his feet to hurt me, to scratch me. Pleasure. Stop it. Hi, Anthony. Hey, how are you? I'm great. How are you? I can't complain. Why are you in the car? Well, I've seen a couple of your shows, and uh, I like what you're doing, and uh, I just found the opportunity you know, get the chance to talk to you. Okay, but why are you in the car? <laughs> <laughs> you said, why am I in the car? Yes, car. In the car. Are oh, you heard in the car? Okay, I said the car. Vroom, vroom. All right, so you mean why am I... In, in your vehicle. Of... Oh, oh, all right, yeah, I just can't... <laughs> all right, my Sorry, fault. Sorry, it's the accent. <laughs> okay, cool. Nice, no, cool. No, I just, I just ran out to get something to eat, you know? Yeah. Your wife is not cooking for you tonight? Uh, no, actually, uh, I had cooked last night. And uh, I was thinking about going to get some more, because I cook spaghetti, you know, but uh, I was thinking about going to get some more spaghetti sauce and whatnot. And I uh, just said, let me run to McDonald's real quick. Let's grab some real quick. Some of that unhealthy food, you know? Mm hmm Yeah, but I, I, yeah, I still got my food in the fridge and more food on top of Wait, that. I just asked you if your wife is not cooking for you tonight, and you're just saying, I'm in the car uh, doing this and that. So the wife is in the house or what? No. When you said my wife, did my wife cook for me? No, I said I had cooked. So I was just leading on to say there's no wife. Pineapple. You been to prison, man? <laughs> I don't believe anything he says. Hey, well, listen, I got to show you something. I got to show you something. <laughs> you got to show you something. Listen, everybody, y'all ready? Hold on. <laughs> this, this, this your boy. Who is it? Oh, so Lucius. You like for real? Yeah, somebody sent me his page. You <laughs> are lying. I, don't, I mean, I'm not saying I'm not saying nothing. I'm not saying nothing. That's I him ain't. dressed up. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just saying. 
I'm just saying. So I don't, maybe he just like to dress like a woman, but he doesn't like men. I don't know. I mean, if you, if you, if you zoom in though, you see the, you see the, you see that? The mouth? No, it's the, it's the necklaces. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> you want you want a real masculine man or you want like just I want something? masculine like I know people feel like I'm that I am masculine but it's just because I'm single and I have to take care of myself so I have to to do what I got to oh, do Oh I got one for All you right. I got one for you my motherfucking nigga Woo hey I like that <laughs> okay What's the deal what's happening you I like him Appreciate it Oh shit you like you off the okay. muscle nigga Hey look hold on hey Hey, my I birthday is Wednesday, you. so you know I might I might give me a little gift real quick. What's up, Nelly? What's the deal? Hi, how are you? No stress, Queen. How you doing? I'm great, thank you. So you guys know each other? Yeah, this is my brother that. right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, he actually set you up. He told me to come holler at you real quick, so I said, let me get right real fast. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate you. No doubt. So what's the deal? What's what's going on here? I ain't gonna lie. I just seen it on his uh, story, so I said, let me get on. Okay, so I am single, looking for a man. Are you Are you him? Am I him? I don't know. It depends on what type of man you like. I might not be the guy for you, but we can see if it is that situation. What's up? Okay, so I like a man who is nice, ambitious, supportive, who has his shit together, and who wants to have at least one kid. Tall men. Okay, that sounds normal. That sounds like a normal thing that women would look for. Well, what type of person are you, though? Do you have any of those qualities that you listed just now? I have all of them. You do? Yes. Okay, so you're ambitious, you got your stuff together already, and you're ready to have one kid. Yes. Oh, that sounds lovely. What's your credit score? Uh, 810. Oh, yeah, we lit. Say lesser. We can, we can, <laughs> we can definitely go out on one, two, three dates. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 like, I, like, I like a woman who got her shit together. I'm going to be honest with you. Is that uh, not intimidating to you? Say it again. Is it intimidating to you? No, it's not. I, I prefer a woman who has her stuff together, honestly. So if a woman got her stuff together and we start making a lot of moves together, it'd be a lot easier than me having to teach or coach her into getting that wave. You know what I mean? So, but mm -hmm. are you a nurturing type of woman too, though? Can like you take care of home or is it just business, business, business? That That's important to me. Well, um, I do the business because that's, that's what I do, but mm -hmm. I would take care of my man, you know? Okay, so if we're going from city to city, let's say we go and take a trip to Miami, and then I say, look, babe, we got to go tomorrow to New York. What's mm -hmm. going to be your first course of action if we ain't packed up already? I just packed the shit. I you packed the stuff. Oh, that's good. We live. So when you want to like, go <laughs> I'm like, what's the question? I'm a pack. Hey, dude, when, we, when, she, when you want to go out is a question. When can we go get some of the drinks, some coffee, start off slow? And then we work our way up to the top. You like Starbucks? Yo, she in Atlanta right now, nigga. Yeah, what's the deal? Yeah. No, I don't like coffee. You don't like coffee? So you can get a chai latte. That's what I get. I like tea. So you like tea? I, I can do that. Let's you like strippers. Yeah, let's you go stop it. I'm not going to the strip club. <laughs> oh, no, I'm about to go there tonight. I'm about to go to Cheetah to get me something to eat right now. Okay, so wait. Let me ask you some question. Uh, how old are you? 33. You have any kids? No kids. Do you scam? No, no, I don't scam. Have you scammed before? No, I never scammed before. <laughs> okay. Um, how tall are you? Six five. Okay. She didn't got wet. No. <laughs> no, it's because I'm tall, and usually people are not as tall as I am. So. Okay, how tall are you? I'm six feet. Are you six foot? My sister's six foot. Mm -hmm. You've been on hills. You same height as me, though. That's fine. <laughs> I mean, I'm cool with that. Okay. What you play sports? You play sports? Mm -hmm. I played volleyball. Oh, yeah. So you be spiking? Yes. You be spiking drinks? Yes, I used to. You bartend. do? Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I used to. I used to bartend, so I can I can drink. Oh. I can drink drinks. So you you a Cardi B fan? I'm a who? Cardi B. I mean, I like her, but not. She used to fan. spike drinks. You know, that's what she used to do. <laughs> Uh, wait, what? Okay, maybe I'm misunderstanding. Spiking yeah, you, you, as far you. as like <laughs> things. Like, you know, 
<laughs> no, nah, when you spike drinks, when you spike somebody drink, that means you like put the Bill Cosby in the drink. No, no, I don't. You, I roofie, don't do you roofie them and then they go home with you and then you take advantage of them and you probably rob no, them. No, I do not do that. I, I don't think I need to do that to take advantage of a man. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. So you're not dealing with classy men. Nobody should let you take them home on the first date. Hey. <laughs> You do that? You 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 ever been home with some? You ever uh, had a one night stand before? Never. Never? Why not? It's just not my style. Oh, that's not your, the energy. Probably wasn't the right way yet. You probably never had a. See what's going on? No, Damn, I mean, Bush. Why be doing that shit? I don't know. I don't know, bro. This look like date number one. <laughs> Wait, I hit it up with a uh, man before, and I'm not going home and having sex with them like right away. That's all right. That's, so, that's so what if this happened? What if you start the date off at Starbucks? Then it's so lit, you like, yo, what you got to do for the rest of the day? And then we head over to the next date, and then that date going good, and then we be ending up like, oh, look, let's go to have a couple drinks later. Then it's late night, and then by the end of the night, we didn't spend the whole day together. I'd be like, look, you might as well go ahead and come home with the kid. We go watch some TV, have a nightcap, you know, get one of them teas cooking. And then, you know, one thing leads to another. That could happen, right? I'm not going to have sex. I might come to your house, but I'm not going to have sex with you. That's good. That's okay. good. I, I wouldn't even try. Okay, good. That's good. <laughs> sounds sounds lovely to me. Quite okay, when was your last girlfriend? Uh, Last week. Pineapple. Damn, he just broke up with her. <laughs> he just broke up with her. I'm good. He's not ready. He's probably going to get back with no, her. You didn't ask why. You didn't ask why. I'm not doing none of that. Last last week, no. <laughs> and you know him. How long was he with her? They were together for like uh, maybe seven, eight months, maybe. Yeah, I'm cool. What you... Hey, I really liked him. Don't get me wrong, but like... If I'm really looking to be like serious with you and you just broke up last week and you're already on here looking for a new girl, that's not for me. Hello. Ooh, Melly. You got a <laughs> you got a Hey Melly. What's up, Melly? Nothing much. How are you? Did you get uh, get dressed? I mean, you know, I just pull up some on, you know what I'm saying? Is that flower stuck to your shirt? Wait, what what is that? that flower is stuck to your shirt? It's on this. No, no, no. Okay. Yeah. You know, I had a come right for this night, the hundredth episode. Let me say congratulations to you, Millie. I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you. So Chris is one of uh, of the regulars, so I don't think he's here to shoot his shot, but I appreciate you. Yeah. Oh yeah, I'm here to shoot my shot. You know the U boy. You going to U boy this time. Now no, I'm just playing. No. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate you, Chris. <laughs> no, I'm upset Man. at your friend because I was like, okay, he's getting everything like nice. But you know, yeah, you got to work there. Like, y'all want to get in a relationship off the muscle. Y'all could have worked out where, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to that point. To me, it's, I don't like the fact that you just broke up with the girl that was you were with for eight months and now you're on here. I mean, I know he's your friend, so maybe he wasn't even serious about dating me, anyways. You know, you told him, hey, poor life, he pulled up for you. I, I didn't tell him pull up. I just posted it. He pulled. He, he, I didn't tell him to come. Oh, he was okay. dead serious. Okay. Well, no. You you broke up last month, uh, last week, and you're already on here talking to me. No. Damn. You think it's normal? Yes. He's looking for love. No. Let's go. I'm let's sorry, go, Kenny. Go. Pineapple. Oh, no. I, I I just want to talk. I just want to talk. I want to say congratulations on the 100th episode. You know what I'm saying? You're doing big things. I wish you, you know what I mean, 100,000 more. I want to uh, say salute to Rich and Unemployed. You know what I mean? I'm new to the channel and, you, and you're fresh player with your hounds too foul fit on. Um, I was going to talk to you about your music, you know what I mean? Because I was going to ask you because I've been into it for like a couple of months now. Pineapple. Penny, we'll talk about this on another night. Like, not tonight. Hi. Hey, Melly, how you doing? <laughs> I'm great. How Congratulations on the 100th episode. Thank you. I'll take this shit off for you. Okay, well, thanks. So, Melly. Yes. I got a rap. I got a song. And I got a word of affirmation. All for you for your 100th episode. So, I want a song. 
Uh, okay, but I won't get, I'm, I'm sure you're gonna like the rap. Don't worry, I'll sing the rap, but I'll tell you about it. Okay, okay let me start. <clears throat> What's going on with your us right now? Drawing me in and you're kicking me out. Got my head spinning, no kidding, I can't be you down. What's going on on that field? Mind. I'm on your magical Mr. Right, and I'm so busy that the whole world hit me, but I'll be all right. My head is on the water, but I'm really fine. You're crazy in the back of my mind. Cause you're me. Lost all of you, love your curves and all your edges, all your perfect imperfection. Give your all to me, I give my all to you. You're my end of my beginning, even when I lose and winning. I give you all of me. <laughs> Right wait, wait, can we hit a rap? Can we please hit a rap? Rap, <laughs> rap, rap, Melly, you like it. Because of Melly, I will go to Marseille. A body once said, one of them from say. Just found out she loved ballet. Because of Melly, I will go to Marseille. A body once said, one of them. That shit trash. <laughs> <laughs> the, the the song the singing was better. The singing was all right. We could have no nah, that trash. It was trash. <laughs> Whoo. Hi. Melly, what's going on? How are you? I'm great. How are you? Good, good. Let's get it popping so we can get to the babies, you know? I know. Yes, Melly. Melly. I know. How you gonna say some shit like that and fuck it up, man? God damn, nigga. Right Come away, on. let's get to the babies. Come, Come on, on, man. Come on, bro. Let's see. What else? I got you, man. I got you. Oh, hey, I made it. Hello, Melly. My name is Gregory. How are you? Good. Thank you, Rich and Unemployed, for clicking What's on my baby? icon. Um, I'm from North Carolina. You played uh, volleyball at Maryland? I did. That's cool. I played football at Wake Forest. So oh, okay. Maryland with ACC? No, I was in the uh, NCAA. Okay, NCAA, yeah. Yes. ACC, Atlantic Coast Conference, though, I think. Is that right? I don't know that one. No, I think uh, no. Okay, I was in the in the MIAC. Okay, 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 okay. I thought you were. I thought it was Maryland Terrapins. No, it's um, we were the Hawks. Okay. Oh well, I fuck with Hawks. So. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Speaking of Hawks, what would be your spirit animal? You think? I don't know. Um, hmm. She's a bat. A bat. <laughs> a bat. <laughs> I used to think like the snake, but it's not a good one. I think. Uh, it's not. Yeah, I mean, it's not. It doesn't have to be bad though. It just depends on how you look at it. Yeah. Okay. What What's yours? I would say a sloth. Possibly. Why? You are slow. Yeah. Um, I don't speak as slow as the couple, the guy that was like a couple turns behind me. I okay. had all the jewelry on. <laughs> but um, but yeah, I've been told I walk a little slow. You know, I'm not okay. like a speed walker. I like to take my time <laughs> to get from point A to B. You have an accent. Are you from the South? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm from North Carolina. Oh, that's country out there. What do you do for a living? I'm in medical sales. So oh, you said you said that for methazine. No, not necessarily. But if you need uh -oh. it, <laughs> you <can find laughs> my type of guy, Gregory. <laughs> yeah, but um, but anyways, yeah. So like, what would be a first date actually? So I heard you say hookah. That's kind of nice. Nothing hookah, crazy. Hookah, just something simple. Uh, tea, coffee, like something simple. So you don't waste your money and we don't waste too much time if we don't like each other. Yeah, I feel that. It's not even about not or liking each other or not. It's more like simple. It's like always like where you have the most fun. That's where the impromptu stuff happens, you know? Mm-hmm. But um, tell me, how old are you? 
34. When was your last girlfriend? Seven months ago. What, um, what did you do that you think uh, made the relationship end? What did I do that made yeah. the relationship end? I walked away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, my question wasn't good. Um, <laughs> no, okay, I mean, tell me, why did you walk away then? Uh, I do believe that, like, not every relationship is for you, right? Friendships, relationships. Mm -hmm. um, and if it's not serving you and it becomes somewhat toxic, then it's not necessarily a good situation. You know? How long did and, you take to walk away? Mm, about a, a year, year and a half. So okay. we met, we tried. Yeah, we put some good forth effort to it, you know, but we just mm -hmm. had different perspectives, different visions on how to move forward. So we had to make a split. When was your last relationship, actually? Uh, 2020. 2020? Was that pre-COVID or during COVID? During COVID. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. And so since then... <laughs> nice. yeah, what did nice. you say? I said, so since then, how's the dating situation been for you? Um, it's it's all right. Um, yeah. Nothing. Nobody that I was like, okay, I really we want him. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Did, have you have you found it hard that it's like hard to date with <laughs> given your situation, like since you are kind of a little bit more out there? Mm hmm. Uh, yeah, it's it's a little harder because uh, so I don't really leave the house, so that's one thing and uh so it's a lot of people from like um maybe like instagram or maybe dating apps and uh, i really would prefer to meet people in person but i don't leave the house so that's a little difficult yeah mm -hmm. and then i don't really like to date people who already know what i do mm. i like that too actually mm -hmm. so what would be your like ideal do you like movies do you go you, you kicked him out. Okay. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. Hi. Hey, what's going on, Melly? What's going on? Why are you in your car? Uh, I'm just chilling. I was heading home to my parents, and then I got caught up in, caught up in standstill traffic and stuff. So I, I decided to just wait for it to pass. We live and in Ohio. Then, say what? We I didn't it. hear you. I live in Dallas. I'm in North mm. Dallas right now. Yeah. So, again, congratulations on 100 episodes. I've been watching for a hot minute. Oh, thank you. Yeah. You hang so, around with white people? Um, I do. I have a mixed group, white, oh, Hispanic, right. and black. But, yeah, it's, it's more just around my career base, around people that I work with. But, yeah, that's cool. So, you kind of not interested in every people that you've seen so far? Not so much. Boring. <laughs> so you're going to do the pineapple for me tonight. Okay, let's go. Hello, I'm Dave. You're here? Your mic is off. Your mic. It's still off. Not working. Mm -mm. Okay. Hey, we got, we're going to get you. Okay, well. It's not working, so let's keep going. When do you think you got a shirt off? Hot boy. Yeah, Hi. got your mad and shine and armor. You hear me? Uh, you did. How you doing, man? Like, what's going on? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> I know we've been waiting for 100 episodes to do this, baby. But look, we just got to do what it do. You hear what I'm saying? What's up, uh, rich and unemployed? My bad. You know, you got to say what's up to the host. What's good, brother? <laughs> but what's up, baby? Look, why? why come on. You got like you love that face. Oh, you know what? What Talk to me. What's up? Okay, you already know what the day gonna be. You know, light little helicopter ride. You know, <laughs> <laughs> a big old crowd. You feel me? You know what I mean? We gonna do like a little Miami Vice scene when we walking up to the helicopter. You know, wind just blowing everything. Got to <laughs> we gonna get in the helicopter and we gonna do circles until we land downtown, so we can go down. <laughs> But so yeah, we're going to we gonna, we gonna fly in circles till we land at our destination downtown where we're going to eat, where our, uh, 
uh, exquisite dinner is going to be at. You feel me? Um, a little something I call RCs, but y'all might know it as Roof Chris, but you know what I mean? You know what I mean? And then I'm gonna, before we even get to the table, I'm going to let the waiter know, don't play with me today. Okay. Do not play with me. I will be rubbing feet at the table before the food get here, when the food get here, and when the rest of the food get here. But indeed, so a little rubbing your foot action. Might get the other foot in there. You know, you can't be stingy with the feet. And then, you know, uh, let's see. I know it's some dudes who be in your chat that like the feet pics. So, you know, I might I might sneak one for them. Just a little, ah, ah, ah. That's you how you're going to do me? So I let you see my feet and you're going to take a picture <laughs> and send it to other people? I mean, we're going to come up. We're going to come up. Patreon, uh, Melly Monaco. Go ahead and subscribe to the Patreon. But and he, Yo, Patreon, not mine. You hear me? Bitch and unemployed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was trying to give him a chance. No. Hi, Frank. Hey, Melly. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm great. I'm great. How are you? I'm great. Thank you. That's good. What's up, yeah, Rich? What up, bro? Yes, sir. At work. You make at least 60000 That's Trump change. I play with that. Woo! <laughs> Melly? Anything else? I mean, I'm waiting. Talk to me. I don't know. Pineapple. Yeah, you, you don't want to talk to me? Hi, Sterling. How you doing? Thanks for having me. No problem. Thank you for coming. You know, during COVID, I've been binging a lot of shows. Yeah, one was my childhood favorite, Unsolved Mysteries. Did you see that show? No, you know, it's funny because I like a bunch of like the homicide and like like weird stuff. But this one, I can't get into it. Unsolved Mysteries? Oh, it's the best. Robert Stack, and they had it back in the day, and they brought it back with a new season. Yeah, okay, Unsolved I, I saw it on Netflix. I saw the new season, but I mean, I saw the, the little thing, but I didn't click it. I like Dateline and all okay. type of documentaries that are weird, but... But, but you know, if you, if you think about it, like Unsolved Mysteries, mm -hmm. is there any other kind? Of what? Of, of mystery. Of mystery, you know what I mean? Like, once the mystery is solved, it's no longer... Oh, got you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, like, there's no solved mystery. Yeah, I mean, so you, you're saying they, they were redundant with the title? Pretty much, yeah. A little bit. I, I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I mean, like, once it's solved... Like, like black women? I'm sorry? You like black women? Yeah. You ever had one? Have I ever had one? Yeah. Like, can you say it like, like my property? No. What do you mean? Like, you ever, <laughs> what do you mean? Like, have I ever. <laughs> I like him. <laughs> I mean, have I had one? Like, in my basement? Okay. Have you, have <laughs> it just you sounds dated, weird. Have you dated it? one? Of course. Yeah. The first girl I dated was, was, was black. I'm from a town that was 80% um, black. Uh, I'm from South Carolina. Okay. And um, the, the school I went to was like, 95% black. Oh, so you you down with the coach. I know what not to say. <laughs> <laughs> I, spent, I, spent, I, I spent K through 12 trying not to get beat up, you know what I mean? And um, never fit in fully. And never was really accepted. Nobody wanted to date the nerdy white dude. Are you a you Trump know what I mean? Um, but that's okay. Uh, you, you support I, Trump? No, I do not. And I don't support Joe Biden either. Damn. What about? I voted third, I voted third party. And I'm actually running for mayor. Of oh, my, of my, okay. Yeah. You got you one. Yeah, I'm running for mayor. And then I want to run for United States Senate. And then I want to run for president. And I feel like Melly is Melly, right? Yes. Would you by my side? <laughs> he could run the nation. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it better than Obama. We can do it better than Michelle. We can do it. We can do it better than Brock did it. I'm convinced. Sterling, do you have kids? No. My lawyer said that if it happened in another country, then legally, no, I'm kidding. I don't have kids. No, no. <laughs> do you want kids? Because you made a face like, no, nah, like it's. I, I'm. I go back and forth. Uh, I, feel, I feel like that's the biggest responsibility. 
but but I could be convinced. Maybe one, maybe probably not two, but Pineapple. maybe one. Wait, what happened? I don't want to convince somebody to have kids. I want you to want to have kids, or at least at least one. I like you, Sterling. He was funny. I and he, <laughs> he I like him. Hey, hey what's going on, Millie? Nothing much. How are you? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Hey, uh, you out here in Atlanta on the hundred episode, huh? What you celebrating? You celebrating good? Am I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. How long are you going uh, going to be in Atlanta? Um, for another week or two. Okay, okay. That's not too bad. Um, I mean, I know you're in the sports, and um, I actually got uh, some upcoming tickets to a Hawks game. You know, um, if you don't, if you don't mind, but. I, I think you're pretty familiar with me, but I'll let everybody know. Uh, my name is Dave. I am in Atlanta. Uh, I sell dirt for a living. Um, I am six foot. I might be like six one, you know, when I put my shoes on or whatnot. So I ain't too bad there. Um, Self-employed. Uh, so I just kind of make my own time, do what I need to do from time to time. And, uh, you know, definitely about family. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> well, it's weird. I know you already, so I'm not, I'm not interested. It, it's weird. Like I see you guys coming on and talking, yes, to, to the girls and now you come for me. So it's weird. Hello. Oh, Damn. boy, bye. Okay. That was pimp, pimp, hooray. <laughs> Pooh <Pushaisty. laughs> Hi. Hi, Chris. What's up, babe? How you doing? How you call me? What's up, Mally? How you doing? That's how you called me? Yeah. That's not what you called me first. I called you Mally. What you mean? Oh, okay. I heard something else. Okay. Hey, I'm sorry. How are you? I'm good. I ain't going, I ain't going even going to hold you for real. I ain't looking for nothing too serious. I'm just looking for like an out of town friend for real. You what? I said I ain't looking for nothing too serious. I'm just looking for like an out of town friend. Uh, uh, and what do we do with that? What's an out of town friend? Trying to fuck some. Well, mm -hmm. you know, I come to your city or you come to my city. We just hang out and link up and smoke and drink. Just get to know each other for real. Just hang out, you know? Pineapple. <laughs> yeah, no. No. <laughs> out of town friend. It sounds like we're fucking. Hello. Hey, what's up, Melly? How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm well. I'm well. I, I just want to say, hey, how you doing? I'm I'm happy to get on to say hi to you. I've been watching your show for a while, and mm -hmm. um, I'm surprised you actually. Uh, I guess they wore you down, and you and you taking it taking your shot, huh? Yeah. I, I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. How old are you? Oh my goodness. Okay. Hi, Griff. Pineapple. Your baby daddy's back. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you thought you were going to get rid of me that easy, baby. We locked, <laughs> right we locked in for life first. Oh. <laughs> so, like I was saying, yeah, they going to defeat pictures for the people on your Patreon, sweetheart. I don't want no dealings in that. I just want to take care of you. Say it to you. Let me sing to you. Sing. I just won't marry. Ooh, sweet like grape jelly. <laughs> Not sweeter than candy, because I got cavities. You can have girl, I can have a little bit, you can have a lot of me. Yo. But you know, like I was saying, helicopter descend from the top of the building all the way to okay, tell me. Oh, oh, he's gone. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Yo. Hi. Oh, Hi hey, Marlon. what's up? Marlon. What's going on? I'm trying to get focused here. Can you see me? Nah. Marlon, I'm sorry, how old are you? I'm very old. Damn, granddad. Stop. Hi, G. <laughs> What's going on, Millie? How you doing? Hi. What's I'm going on, Rich and Unemployed? 
What up, brother? Hey, nothing much, man. Just hanging in there. I'm doing good. Uh, hey, first time on the show. Just saying what's up. Uh, saw go. Melly was on. It's like, you know what? Might as well shoot my shot, right? Yes. <laughs> so how are you doing today, Melly? I'm doing great. Thank you. That's good. I'm going to get to the point with me. 32 years old. Uh, fly for the United States Air Force. I knew Air Force it. pilot, officer. Also an airline pilot. So do military on the side as a reservist. I travel a lot. Looking to start a family sometime soon. Looking for somebody serious. So, okay. Yeah. So wait, Are so you, you're not in the, in the, you say Air Force, right? Correct. You're not in it no more? Part-time. Okay. So what do you do? What else? So do you I do? don't, <laughs> so I don't know if you, have you ever heard of a thing called hurricane hunting? No. Planes flying to hurricanes out of Biloxi, Mississippi. Okay. No, I, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's a weather squadron. I also, I'm an airline pilot too. So yeah, that's what. That's more my full-time job. Okay, so yeah. what is your schedule like? Is it kind of crazy? It can be, but typically I fix my schedule just depending on, you know, what time I want to have off, vacations. I'm um, pretty senior, so I can just about get any day I want off, but we mainly work about 14 days a month. Gotcha. But even last month, I worked like seven days a month. Okay. Yeah. Where well, are you located? Right now in Atlanta, back home for the holidays. So born and raised in Atlanta. So where do you usually live? So typically uh, Atlanta, between Atlanta and Fort Lauderdale, and every now and then West Coast, but Atlanta and Fort Lauderdale is the two places I live. I just go back and forth. Yeah. So question for you. What, um, your longest relationship, right? Mm -hmm. What was the biggest challenge in your longest relationship? Mm -hmm. I think I um, I'm, I made him feel insecure. I think I've done stuff that made him feel insecure and to try to regain the trust and make him feel confident again, that's, that was the hardest. And he didn't regain it with me while he was with me. So we kind of like ended it. Okay, I guess. All right. And short term, the last relationship you had? Um, no, that was the, that was the, the latest was it. for like three years. And then since then it hasn't been like a serious relationship. Okay. You say one kid, that's what you want. One is fine. The, the thing with me is like, we can have twins and I'm cool, but being pregnant twice, I'm not really looking for <laughs> that. That's really what it is. It's not like I really don't want two kids. It's, I just don't want to be pregnant twice. I got you. Yeah. I'm, I come from a big family. So really having a big family of my own is not the biggest thing. Uh, I'm the bottom of six, 32. So um, all my siblings are way older. So I have a, plenty of nieces and nephews, you okay. know, so but definitely I have I would like to have two because I know the only child syndrome. I have a lot of friends, only child syndrome. They are spoiled. But hey, if my wife only wants to have one, only wants to have one. That's fine with me. Okay. Are you a. Uh, I mean, are you against military members, ex-military members, retired? Is that something that you look... I know some people look against it. Some people love it. No, I, I don't mind. It's just uh, I would want you to have dealt with... I don't know where you went, you know, when you were serving. So I don't know if you went to war and stuff like that. So I would really like you to probably get therapy to make sure there is no, like, PTSD or, you know, yeah. making sure your mental is good with what you've seen or what you've been through. I got you. Yeah, P yeah, PTSD can be, a, yeah, PTSD can be a, a real thing. I don't suffer from it, but a lot of friends that come from combat did. I did a lot of combat flying, and to be honest, really? that's why I went to part time, and that's okay. why I went doing the hurricane stuff to get away from deploying to Afghanistan and the Middle East. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit easier, flexible schedule, and we only deployed to the islands. So okay, what, <laughs> easy job. what is the the biggest thing you're looking for in your woman? Like, if it was one thing that she needs to provide, what is it? I want my, I would love my, the woman I'm to be with to be my best friend, really. Uh, nice to me, kind to me. Sometimes the job can be stressful, especially flying. And I can, you know, spend days on the road, but that's the good part. She can have her peace without me. But when I come back, uh, my love language is, my number one love language is touch, physical touch. So I'm, I'm the type, I'm all over you. You know, I can stay in the house one or two days after a trip 
just lay up or we can go out and do something or go travel, meet me somewhere. But she has to be down for me and I'll be in full support of her. So, mm-hmm. and I'm used to supporting, you know, I love supporting my black women, definitely. And I'm used to supporting because I know it takes support for me. So nice. as long as the love is given back, that's all. I really like that. What, what do you think about, um, Because I know people talk a lot about the, their love languages. So let's say I know your love language and mm-hmm. my love language, how I show love to people is different than yours. Do you expect me to cater to your love language or do you or would you be able to understand how I'm giving you the love? Both. The only love language to me that's like the most important is going to be physical touch. Anything mm-hmm. else after that? I don't you know, I don't too much care. I would love to have it. But um My thing is, I really cater to it, you know, the okay, girl I'm supposed to with. Okay. Their love example, language. Let's say yours is physical touch. So mm-hmm. let's say I'm not that touchy feely. So I wouldn't be the one initiating it. But my love language is act of service. Okay. So I would, you know, do stuff for you. Would you realize that it's my way of giving you love, or you would feel like I don't love you because I don't come and be all over you all the time? No, I know it's your way. Of- I, I would know it's your way of, uh, you know, showing me that you love and care. So okay. that's that's no issue. Yeah. So Mel, you feeling and, him? Yeah, I like him. That should exchange numbers. He ain't trying like to get me off already. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, shit, we about to get to the point. Shit, <laughs> we can't see the whole thing. Okay. I like, yeah. him. I like him for you. How about um, can you send me an email with your with a picture of you so I know it's you, and then we can exchange numbers. Send a dick sure. Back, like, You better not send me a dick pic. <laughs> Thank you, uh, G. Gotta get straight to it. I like him for you, though. He's nice. I like him. I mean, he doesn't live where I live, but I guess he be flying. So, yeah, hi, Jean de Dieu. Hello. How you doing? Good. How are you? Yeah, I'm pretty good. Okay. Yeah, I was just, I was just say hi. Just a bit. Just... You just wanted to say hi. Yeah. That's... Okay. Well, hello. They didn't know what to do. They don't know what to do with you. <laughs> you well dressed, milk dog looking ass, fake ass Swiss beats, fake ass Kevin Samuels looking ass nigga. Dog, why you pine up for no reason, bro? That fake ass suit on and that fake ass <laughs> chain, boy. Fuck wrong with you, man. I'm trying to talk to Melly. I've heard how much you make sixty thousand. Yo, girls want money from you, you dirty ass nigga. I'm good over here. Yeah, I mean, so we're no I'm Black. talking to her. I'm talking Black. to her. Me and her Black having a, me and her having a conversation. You dragon ball head ass boy. You, you big bean head ass boy. You box truck driving ass nigga. You like Bilal ass nigga. Fuck out of here. You look like a picnic table boy. You 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 sandwich you sandwich taking to to you take sandwiches to work nigga. The fuck you talk about? Fuck out of here, man. Fuck wrong nigga, with you. you still watches from Sax Fifth. Fuck out of nah, here. Like the track, nigga. Fuck wrong with you. Dirty ass LA nigga. You a dirty ass, ass LA nigga. Dirty ass LA nigga. ass nigga. Yeah. What? Yeah. What'd you say? What'd you say? I hear what you said. I say you 14 day working ass nigga. On the clock ass nigga. When's the last? I don't know. If you don't get some part. If you don't get some part. 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 You don't get some Fuck wrong with you. What you like? You about to do a jazz solo? What the fuck you about to do? Oh, you look like you're fired on your day you off. Play me out, man. Don't you fuck ever play me you. out, bro? I'm here having a. You're gonna cut me off because I couldn't figure out what next to say. We having a conversation, bro. Well, there you go, there, nigga. Go ahead. Go ahead. Hey, I don't go even want to say nothing. I just want to say, hey, what's up, man? I had to get my leg back, man. I ain't like how you cut me off, though. If you don't feel me, you don't feel me, but man, I feel yeah, like man, I, I ain't like going, that, bro. Get back on the fourth list, man. No, I'm sorry, man. I, I, I ain't it's like that, man. But that's all good. It's all good. I had to get that off, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm over you and him. What's going on? <laughs> Yo, Frank comes to the show often. I've never seen him like this. Hey, right, I fuck with Frank, man. He came back clapping. <laughs> to catch hey, he you came out. back hard. Hi. Hello, Melly. Hello. How yes. are you? Thank you. Uh, distinguished gentleman, rich and unemployed. Thank you, sir. So, pineapple, <laughs> I said. I don't know what we lost the internet, uh, Professor. Sorry. <laughs> we lost the internet. You're. Hi. That boy. Yo, 
what up, what up, what up, Richie? What up, boy? That Gucci shirt? I mean, it's the, I don't know what it is. To be honest, somebody gave it to me. <laughs> so it's like Gucci. Trip. But anyway, how you doing, baby? What's good, Melly? Nothing much. How are you? Chilling, man. I'm uh, on my 10-minute break and shit. I want to come on and tell you uh, what's up and all that. I'm thinking about you and shit. You said you wanted to come on to say you're thinking about me? Yeah. I'm your future husband. What's up? Why, why do you think you're my future husband? Got a lot of good reasons. You know, I'm funny and supportive. You know what I'm saying? I could be the shoulder you need to cry on. Um, I'm masculine. I could be all that. You know what I'm saying? Wrap you up at night, kiss you on you, lay you down on the bed, smack your ass, fall asleep. Pineapple, pineapple, please. Damn, you don't like Smacking on my ass like first day. You've been a romantic. Stop. First shit you want to tell me? <laughs> Come on. Hi, AJ. Oh, shoot. What's hey, up? Hey, how are you? Good. How are you? All right. Um, I want to say congratulations uh, to your uh, 100th show. Thank you. All right. So you're looking for a date tonight, huh? I am. I'm look more than a date. I'm looking for a boyfriend and potential husband. Oh. Um, I think I might be that potential candidate. Wow. Um. <laughs> uh, so, what do you look for? What are you looking for? Uh, in a guy. I mean, what? Uh, what floats your boat? Well, how do you? Uh, uh, he asked, "How old are you?" Oh, I am uh forty-four. Pineapple. Pineapple. Come on, you old enough to be your dad, bro. So <laughs> Sorry, AJ. <laughs> Hi, AJ. All right, let's see. Uh, Christopher, Chris. you tired? Tired. You on your mute? Nah, I'm a bad. I was laughing. What's up, Millie? Nothing much. You in the car? Yeah. Why? I just got I'm, I just got off work and I had to pull over because I was like, I'm not going to miss this show or opportunity to speak to you. Well, I appreciate you. I'm literally sitting at the gas station. <laughs> I'm waiting my turn. But what's up, Rich? Good to see you, brother. Whatever. Um, so a little bit about me. You know, I watch a show from a distance. I ain't really been on here, you know what I'm saying, like that, but maybe once before. And it was just like some spontaneous type shit. But uh, I'm 32. I'll be 33 next month. I got no kids. I own my own company. I'm an entrepreneur. I have a, a security company. I do uh, private security all across the world. Um, I'm originally from Mississippi. I have plenty of tech degrees as it pertains to like trades and stuff. So I was an aircraft mechanic at one point. I worked in industrial maintenance and all kind of different blue collar jobs. And, and now I'm an entrepreneur. I live in Atlanta, so when you said you was down here visiting for a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I was like, this is an opportunity to take her to the take her to dinner. Let me let me see if I could take her to like, you know, um raise on the river or STK or something. You know, I could I could pop out. I, I got um I got two more days of work on this assignment I'm on and then and then I'm gonna be free. Mm -hmm. So if you're gonna be here through the weekend, I love to pull up, you know what I'm saying, sit down and have some good food and just have a conversation, but uh, I did want to tell you that about me first to see if you would at least be interested. Okay, I have a question. Can I see your your hand? My hand? Yeah. Can you turn it? The nails. Oh, hold on. Let me get it in there. Hold on. Let me see. This my weed. No, I don't. I was for the weed. <laughs> I I uh I do private security. I'm an executive protection agent. I can't smoke no weed, man. It's over with. Them days are done. I do a little drinking every now and then, but other than that, um, now nah, I'll partake in the narcotics. Okay. Um, but that's my answer. <laughs> Any questions for me? Do you want to know anything else about me? Oh, uh, well, I I'm sorry. Uh, hi, Luke. Hey, how's it going, Melly? Good. Rich, how, how, how are you? Doing good, doing good. Took me a while to get on, so I missed a lot of what was going on. So you play the guitar. I repeat any questions. What was that? You play the guitar. Uh yeah, I do. I, I knew guitar, it. Guitar, piano. Okay, yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah. I'm so I'm 30 years old, and uh, I own termite company. 
work really with uh, real estate and things like that. So, um, where are really, you located? It's okay. Where are you located? Oh, I'm about an hour and ten minutes outside of LA. I'm in Lancaster. Okay. So, but I usually end up hanging out in Hollywood area or LA area if I'm trying to go out because it's not really much to do out here. So. Um, okay. Um, okay. Tell me, what is? Um, why are you here? What What is something about me that made you come here? Uh, honestly, I. I started watching your videos a while back, uh, and then I saw that you had the pineapple show like probably two episodes ago. Um, but I actually liked your videos and your vibe. I thought they were really freaking funny. Um, you. And your take on uh, men and women and things like that was kind of interesting to me. Um, okay. I had like zero interest on being on the show, but I thought you were pretty cool. Uh, and I really wanted to meet you specifically, so I kind of... So wait, myself. so would you like to talk to me romantically or you just want oh, to? Oh, no, I absolutely would love to talk to you romantically. I would like to take you on a date. I'm really not great on <laughs> this kind of platform, but I'm really trying my best. Uh, but I think, uh, you know, something like a dinner, maybe a comedy show or something like that would be awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and just kind of enjoy each other's company and, and vibe. And uh, Okay. Um, have you dated black women before? Uh, yeah, actually, I, I have. My ex was black, and I, I've dated a couple of other black women around. Actually, the question would be whether or not I dated white women. Uh, that's a no. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I like seasoning too much, and I'm talking about my food and in. Uh, <laughs> okay. uh, so so it's, it's hard out here. Uh, but I understand, I mean, the, with the current social climate and stuff like that, I don't know if you're willing to date a white man. Um, oh, yeah, I'm willing. All right, so I want to, you know, want to. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I don't. I, I talk to any race. That's cool. So, um, it, I know you're a pretty busy woman. Generally, though, when you have time to yourself, what do you like to do? Do you go out? Do you stay in? I'm I'm very boring. I like to chill and just enjoy people's company. So, that's you know, if you tell me let's go outside and let's do something, I'll come. But if you tell me let's just come and chill over at the house i like that too oh yeah i appreciate that i think the last couple of girls that i've dated has been kind of more in the party scene it's kind of gotten very tiring mm -hmm. uh, you know, they're out there bottle chasing and things like that and it's just it's not really my vibe i mean I'll, i'm pretty much comfortable in any situation but yeah mm -hmm. you're tired, you know ah so, yes in her email oh my god <laughs> really uh, Luke, send me an email with a picture of you so I know it's you and I'll hit you. My email is in the description of the video. How are you you're pushing people like this for me? Hi, what's your name? I can't hear you. Hi, how are you doing? I'm How's good, how are you? You lost your name? Um, what's going on? I don't know. How are you doing? I'm great. How are you? Uh, from Dallas. Okay. Know but I got, you know, football and alcohol is my thing. So my team won. Yeah. It's so you lost his, your voice because it's, of football? It's not, his, it's not his night. It's not his, it's not his night. Sorry. Hi. Uh, oh, no, no. What's going on, man? Nothing How much. How are you? I'm doing good. Doing good. How about you? Uh, I'm doing great. For sure. You good, Finesse? Hey, yeah, chilling, bro. For sure, for sure. So, so I heard you uh, you in the agency, you feel me? Where are you originally from, though? Uh, I'm from Paris. Oh, you from Paris, for sure. Mm -hmm. I'm from uh, I'm from Haiti, you feel me? So, okay. So I got there, bro. Yes, yeah, so, you feel me? Shit, but, uh, so, uh, oh, I'm real new to the, uh, to the pineapple joint shit, you feel me? So is this the only thing you do, or you got other business interests? Uh, I mean, I do mostly YouTube, yeah. Oh, for sure, I feel you, I feel mm -hmm. you. Yeah, yeah, I'm trying to get into that shit myself. I ain't going to lie, I'm going to start a little, uh, little podcast and shit soon. But outside of that, you feel me, I got a little uh, clothing brand and shit. You feel me? <laughs> hey, she's so, but I got a little clothing brand called uh, Pure Soul Apparel and shit. You feel me? I day trade. So I, I'm a little in the business scene myself, too, you feel me? 
But okay. uh, you ever been out to Houston? Houston, never. Damn, for sure. What about Texas in general? Mm-mm. Oh, shit, nigga. I'm going to have to fly you out for you talking about. No, but, uh, <laughs> just like that okay so it's gonna, tell me about flying me out um so you're gonna put me on spirit or you're gonna put me first class delta mm, private jet her oh, oh, jet. Have to, i forgot man. the jet you don't have to straight straight to it you feel me? i ain't got time to wait on what you, you say the jet yeah we're gonna have to do the pj you feel me? i can't wait on somebody as beautiful as you can't can't have you just on no autonomy flight type shit you feel me so, hey, come so, on, okay, so, so tell me, so I, I get on the jet, I, I get to you, you come to pick me up at the airport, and um, then you got my own hotel room, or I got to stay with you? Oh, no, nah, we don't want you to be comfortable off the rip, you feel me? You can't, yeah, I got to play the vibe on how we how we feel, how we interact, you feel me? It can't be just, no, oh, uh, you come straight to my career, like, we got to get to know each other, you feel me? I might come scoot you at the airport and get you situated in your own little spot in there. Go travel the city, you feel me? You ain't you ain't been to the eight, so I gotta show you around, you did. So <laughs> how many girls do you fly out a month? Oh, see, I don't be flying nobody out. <laughs> I would. But you're gonna do it for me in the PJ right I mean, away. Come on now, you really you feel me? Pineapple. <laughs> Damn, He's bro. lying. <laughs> He's lying. <laughs> that nigga said private jet, man. Listen. Well, you can tell me Delta regular. I'd be like, okay. Hey, I mean, even Spirit. We're going to put you on Frontier. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you know, I fly Spirit all the time. My Ain't friends are like, why you, you fly Spirit? I'm like, because it's cheap. You got to keep it real. I don't care about Spirit. Hello, sir. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm doing good. Hold up. Hold up. Turn this down. Watching this World Cup. Okay. Oh, right. you like soccer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big okay, time. Okay, what's your team? My team, Liverpool. Okay. But well, you know, America right now, the World Cup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Let's America. See. We see what they're gonna say, what they're gonna do. Yeah, yeah, it's getting crazy. <laughs> How's everything though? You good? Yeah, I'm good. How you say your name? Sa? Yeah, Sa. I don't know why I pulled up Sa. It's Issa though. Issa, okay. Where are you from? I'm from Boston. Originally. Boston. Yeah. Okay. I lived all over though, Boston, Florida, Iowa. Why anyway. you move so much? Why did I move so much? Mm -hmm. Um, my dad's job at first, and then I just moved on my own too. I went to school, so okay, and a little bit, you know. I like your voice. Enjoying life, I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. I like yours too. Oh, thank you. Yeah, now nah, I just I just seen your little clips. I didn't really be on here like that, but. I just seen okay. so you know I seen your little video. You was talking about getting on here, so you mm -hmm. know I had stuff going on earlier, so I didn't know if I was gonna miss it. But but I, I appreciate you being here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How's everything? Everything good. When was your last girlfriend? <laughs> you get right to it. When was my last girlfriend? Yeah. Um, it was about like a year and a half ago. Okay. What did you do? A year and a half ago. Why the end? Oh, uh, what did you do? What did you know? Oh, tell me, what did you do wrong in your relationship? What I do wrong? Mm -hmm. Um, probably too critical, a little too critical. You know what I'm saying? What were you telling her? Nah, just like, just um, I mean, it's just stuff like, you know, like kind of things that I should have addressed early, that I didn't address like right away. You know, maybe stuff like just simple stuff like um, you know, like. Um, going out, like going out and, um, you know, things like that, like talking on the phone, like, you know, schedule with that. Like if you say you're going to call me, you know, things like that, um, that kind of okay, got. So where is that being too critical? Not nah, like uh, addressing certain stuff, but like I said, I should have just addressed things in the beginning, but I kind of like didn't do that. So then it became a problem later on. That ain't really, you know, that ain't really cool. You know okay. what I'm saying? Either way, you know what I mean? If it's right or wrong, you know, you got to address things right away. Kind of like, hey, this is what I this is what I like. This is what I don't like. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Kind of like waiting. And then until it's a problem, you know what I mean? So I kind of learned that gotcha. like, if, I got, if I got certain, like, you know, stipulations. Just say it right away. You know what I mean? And then if it don't work out, then we go separate ways. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But, you know what I mean? So what about you? When's your last one? Your last girlfriend, right. boyfriend? Boyfriend, 2020. 2020? Mm-hmm. 
pandemic? Is yep. that the reason? Uh, I got kicked out. So, <laughs> so I, I don't know. Crib? What'd you say? Kicked out the crib, the house. Yeah. Oh, damn. Mm-hmm. What you do? Um, I was uh being too friendly in my DMs with other guys. Damn. I mean, you was doing this before? Uh, no, that was, I mean, I was doing some, but I wasn't doing the same type of um, content. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. I mean, I feel that, but you know, either way, I feel that. Yeah. All right, send an email. All right, so look, we got the last 10 minutes left, man. And we're okay. gonna do like, we're gonna do some quick speed dating because we're gonna try to get everybody a chance. So you got 60 seconds to try to get your spit. If, you, if you're doing good in 60 seconds, we're gonna keep you on. Cause it might be, your, it might be, <laughs> I'd be your girl, bro. We ain't gonna hold you from uh, living your life and loving Melly. Hi. He, he look like he the one. What's up? I'm definitely the one. What's happening, Melly? How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Congratulations on 100 episodes of the Pineapple Show. Give it up for you. Thank you. So how you doing tonight? I'm doing good. After all this time. It's, just, it's different to be on the hot seat, isn't it? It is, but I got at the beginning was a little rough, and then I got used to it. So right, it's right, cool. right. Yeah, you 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 always tell them to speed it up. You be like, yo, yo, get them off, get them off. No. Yeah. And now anyway, I see. so what are you looking for in this relationship that you that you want to have children? Mm -hmm. what, what are you looking for in a man that will be the father to your children? Okay, uh, a nice man, smart, ambitious, supportive. Smart, ambitious, supportive. Okay. Mm -hmm. You looking for anything to, in particular, for your children? Like um, attributes? Oh, so physical? Well, it would be great if he was tall, so we can have giants. Athletes, pro athletes. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm with that. I'm with that. I've been scouting you out for that reason, you know. <laughs> Pineapple. You're scouting me for your kids? Hello. We can't hear you. A little bit, but it's very low. That should be better now. Yes. Hey, hi, Millie. Sergio, nice to meet you. Nice hi, to meet Richard you. Hi, Richard and Chloe. What up, bro? Hey. Uh, so, yeah, uh, well, I've actually been watching the channel for a while. Uh, this is one of my favorite shows. So, thank you. Kind of familiar with it. And, uh, you know, I heard uh, the beginning. So, yeah, why don't we just, you know, whatever questions you have for me. How old are you? I'm 33. 33. Where are you located? I'm in Panama. Pineapple. Man, listen, man, you gotta don't 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 ask her to she can't ask you questions. You gotta come and spend game, like some dialogue. You know what I mean? Hi, Parker. We can't hear you. No. Mm -mm. Five. Four. Damn. Damn. You what's going on? Hi, Trevor. How you doing? Good. How are you? I'm cool. Like, I'm just going to be honest. I totally, like, just stumbled upon your live. And okay. I thought it was, yeah, it's gr good stuff, though. Like, I love the content, and I love your smile. So I just wanted to start Thank up saying that. So you don't want to talk to me? I absolutely want to talk to you. Oh, OK. Ooh, hold on. There we go. You have kids? None. OK. Do you want kids? Yes, yeah, someday, for sure. OK. How old are you? I'm 31, turning 32 in January. OK. Um, what are you looking for in a woman? Um, connection, like bond um, and companionship. Um, yeah, like a commitment. I feel like it's really easy to like somebody for a minute, but to actually want to sustain something that's real and, and valuable and true. I think that's mm -hmm. something like, I don't know. It's like catching lightning in a bottle and I'm trying to get my hands electric. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I want somebody ambitious, supportive, nice, smart, who wants to have kids. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay. Hi. We talked to Sergio already. I'm back. I wanted my second chance. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, James. Hello. How you doing? We can hear you. It's really low. 
Hello, Preston Brooks. We can hear you. He alien. <laughs> Hi, Alfred. Hello. Hi. Hi. Are you here? Yes, I can hear you. Yes. What part yeah, I'm Africa? African, but I'm not in Africa right now. Okay. I look African? Oh, yeah. <laughs> L- let me put on my my headphones. I didn't expect to come on in. Hello? Yes. Are you, are you a Nigerian scammer? He didn't hear. Are you a Nigerian scammer? Okay. Hey, Kwan. Hey, what's going on, Melly? Nothing much. What's going on, what's going on Rich and Unemployed? What's going on? How you doing tonight? What's good, bro? I, I just wanted to come on here and uh, just have a regular conversation. You know, I think uh, a lot of people, man, get it misconstrued, man, and think they got to form and do this, all this extra just to get your attention and get that to a, just a human. Just, you know what I'm saying? you like a, you know, you a person. So you not just the object of somebody's desire. Like, mm-hmm. so it'd be good to like, you know, converse and get to know, you know what I mean? So uh, I'm just uh, wondering, like, I don't know, the first question I have is like, do you have any children? No, I don't. I don't. You don't have any? Okay, no. so would it be like an issue if uh, the man that you decided to be with has, has any children? How many? One. Okay, how long, how old is the child? Uh, she'll be two in December. Oh. Okay. Uh, what's your relationship with her mom? Uh, it's kind of strained at the moment um, due to me actually like getting a little distance, moving away. But I still take care of my daughter, though, as far as like, uh, you know, I do what I'm supposed to do whenever I go. Melly, happy joyous anniversary. Merci. And uh, je te laisse une. Uh... We talked to him. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Um, I wanted to ask a couple of questions about you. I've been seeing a lot of like older, boring ass dudes, bro. See, I know, I know, ladies like young dudes. I know ladies like to live. I know ladies like to live a little bit. So I want to ask you? you, like, I'm 22. Is that too young? Very much so. 22 too young. Oh man, I turn 23 soon. <laughs> what about that? No. I turn 23 soon. <laughs> oh shit. We talked to Ignore already. Oh yeah, we know him. Um no. No. That pipe me. All right, we'll be back inside. You can hear Hi. me now. Yes, I can hear you. Okay. So I don't know if you remember me, but I've been on your show before a couple of times. But I just wanted to say hello. Like, you're looking real beautiful. Like, your braids, like, them hoes going crazy. You got the you got, you got the stitch braid. Uh, that's the name? I didn't yeah, know. like, the stitch. Like, my okay. stuff, it don't, it don't look that good. Yeah, yeah. Where, where's yeah. The, it's individual braids in the braid. Okay. Thank you. That's what's called a stitch. You don't even know what it was called. No, I just tell her I want four braids, and she goes, "That's it." She go. Mm-hmm. She be going in though. All, right. All the time. Yep. I see. Well, I don't like. Do I have? I have like a single question. Yes. My question is, if you could go anywhere in the world, like that you never travel, like like what where what place you want to go to? Mm-hmm. Right now, I want to go to. Wow. Bo- oh, oh, he's gone. Oh, damn. Well, sorry. Okay. okay. Well. My man. Hey. No. Grandmaster, big face. Hello. So, Rich and Unemployed, my boy. I'll be watching Ooh. your show, too. 100. What's up, Melly? I'm trying to see what you're doing tonight, Melly. Well, I'm here. Talking about the show finna be over. Like, what's going on in the city? Finesse, what's going on in the city, man? I'm about to take Melly out. <laughs> Say, 
Uh, trying to go out too, for real. I'm having motion for real. I'm out. Here. I'm dressed. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to step out. Where you at? Man, I'm in South Carolina, man. Oh, uh, we're not sure. going out with you. It's done. What? The <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, what? Yeah, they be doing that. Why? What the fuck is this? It's they're just post videos. Hey, hey, pineapple is ass. What the fuck was that? Uh, okay. that's it. I think. Did we talk to everyone? Um. I mean, what you want to do tonight? Excuse me. What you want to do? I I don't understand. Like, what are you doing tonight? Nothing. Well, it's 11 p.m. I think I I'll, I'll go to bed. You ain't hungry. Oh, I'm always hungry. That's for that's sure. what, that's what I'm saying. Let's go get something to eat. Just like that. What else? I mean, what else I'm supposed to what I'm supposed to do? I don't know. Okay, so I was reading some of the comments, and people were like, um, they were saying you're a hater, and it's because you, you're feeling me. You're feeling me, or what? You thought I was feeling you? <laughs> <laughs> you thought I was feeling you? You're a munch. I like munch. <laughs> Let's go eat then. Um, uh, no, but did you answer the question? And my what question? You're feeling me? That's why you, you're trying to... Uh, okay, you just want to go eat or you're trying to take me out? Which one is it? Because I saw some stuff on your page and you're saying that women need to, to start paying for you when you take them out. Yeah. They need to, when they take you out, they need to pay. Yeah, so You, you ain't got to pay tonight. I don't get to pay. <laughs> I'm, mm. I'm lucky. Yeah. I like you a little bit. Why do you like me? I think it's your eyes That's and your good. accent. Okay, so just physical stuff, or not physical, but uh, it's, it's not it, my, that's, my, what, that's what I'm attracted I'm to. I'm doing it for you. That's what I'm attracted to, but um, I don't know. You seem real down to earth, um, real cool, like 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 a homie, like a mm -hmm. friend. You're smart. Okay, so you want to be my friend? Yeah, first I want to go get something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> first and foremost. Okay. Would you like to eat? We not we can't go to McDonald's though. I know you like fast food and shit. Well, it's Monday. A bunch of shit is closed already. Nah, I know I know some spots. The strip club. No, nah, no, nah, we ain't gonna. We, I need somewhere I can talk to you and get in your ear, rubbing your thigh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dirty Mac and all. You gonna click that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not clicking. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh shit! Somebody said I'm gonna give it up tonight. Let's not take it that far, man. Y'all gonna fuck it up for me, man. God damn. I don't know. Damn, y'all gonna fuck it up for me. That, that's what you're trying to do. No. Why would I do that? Do I look like the type? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do I look like the type? You do look like the type. You gonna leave that dress on or um no you know, no gonna I, I'm gonna wear some uh sweatpants. Sweatpants and what? And a hoodie. And a hoodie? Damn. It's cold out here. You don't wanna keep the dress on? Take you somewhere nice? But if you put a hoodie on, that means I gotta take you to like some regular shit. What you mean? I can get in everywhere I go. Yeah, but it's like the ambiance. It's like the, the atmosphere. It don't matter. You could you can get as comfortable as you want. It just that depends on what you're saying. Way. If I get undressed, I can go to some places. If you get undressed, we could just stay at home. We. Oui. <laughs> I'm over you. Mm -hmm. That was good. How we doing? <laughs> okay, so I, wait. So let me end up my show. So guys, uh, I appreciate you all. Thank you for coming to, to the Pineapple Show. I hope you guys had a good time. Uh, Finesse, Rich and Unemployed, thank you for, for hosting me. I appreciate you because it was some last minute shit and, um, and you pulled up for me. So I really appreciate you. Yeah, I appreciate you too, man. Thank you for um, having me on this um, date night. 
sound, you sound annoyed. Like <laughs> date night. No, it was cool though. It was cool. If y'all ain't seen my podcast, go check it out, man. Um, I've been in the yeah. character the whole time. God damn. But um, so many people have seen my show. Uh, if you fuck with it, man, go go watch it. Natalie, um, end your show, man, so we can link. Okay. All right. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove remove you and I pineapple I'm gonna talk, me. I'm gonna talk. No, not pineapple. Uh, and I'm going to talk to, I mean, real quick, I'm going to talk to, to my people and I'll hit All right. you. All, All right. right. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right, guys. If you want to go check out his IG, let me uh, find it. I, I had it, but I don't know where it's at right now. So let me find that for you so I can put it on the screen so you guys uh, can go find him. He's super cool. He talks about relationship and stuff, so you guys should check him out if you don't know him yet. Um, he goes by finesse. Okay. Let me put this for you. Well, I hope you guys, I, was, uh, I wasn't too rough. I, I tried, you know, I think I liked, who did I like? I like uh, Jay Herc. I, I really liked him. And... Um, so hopefully he's gonna send me an email and we can figure that out. Guys, this is a fitness IG. If you wanna go check him out, he has all his shit. He can give you some tips. And um, and he has also a YouTube channel. The link is in the description of this video. So if you guys wanna go check him out, you can find him in the description. Um, uh, you guys, Melly, how was it in the hot seat? Uh, it was. It was hot in the beginning, and then I got cooler. I got more used to it. Uh, can we talk to Melly? <laughs> uh, Sir Finesse, I, I think you're done. <laughs> He's still putting some comments up for me. Can we talk to Melly? We talk to me. Like, we talk to me. I don't know what I'm saying. Uh, but, but we made it happen already. Um, he about to smash. You guys have no fucking respect for me as usual, but hey, that's not gonna happen. Uh, fuck, Melly, you, uh, why you ain't get a female host? Because I feel like sometimes we need some guys. Like, you know, it's always two women, one guy. I wanted the perspective of another man. I think I, I think I like that. No, I, I liked it. Um, what else I want to say? Um, so on, on Wednesday, we have another pineapple show. On Thursday, we're not going to have the, the talent show because it's, um, I was going to say it's Christmas. It's not Christmas. It's uh, Thanksgiving. And uh, we're not going to do it because, um, oh my God, <laughs> we're gonna, not going to do it because it's Thanksgiving and I've been having a hard time to uh, to secure the judge because you know people are with their family so guys i'm sorry it's not going to be a talent show this week but we'll be back the the following week um let me see what what you guys are saying i'll pass you pass on what i don't know um it's christmas on thursday <laughs> it's not christmas it's fucking um what's the name thanksgiving yeah you know in my country we don't we don't uh, celebrate that. I will hit you up soon, even the host seem thirsty, but I will reach out soon. Okay, well, I'll reach out soon. Um, what are we gonna do for Thanksgiving? I don't know. I, I can still do a live if you guys want to, and if you're here and you know, we, we can do something, but I don't know what you guys want me to do. Many there are a few that didn't get their shot backstage still. I know it's still people, but we gotta go. Guys, I told you we wouldn't stay um longer than than the girls, you know. So we're gonna stay just two hours and then <laughs> finesse, I'm gonna slap you. <laughs> it's still adding some comment. Uh oh, thank you, Jose. I appreciate you. I, I appreciate you for being the um, moderator and for still being here uh, almost every fucking week, putting people in line because you guys be out of control sometimes. Um, part two on Thursday. No, we're not doing another. It was episode 100. We're done. That's it. We, we, we got it. Great show. Thank you. Um, 
tips on why this game is terrible. You guys, he, I don't think he, he tried. I think he just like, was like, let's go eat. And that was it. I don't think he tried. Maybe I travel all the time. You've been looking good in that picture. Who are you? Did you come and talk to me? And I live in Atlanta. I hit your email though. Well, you didn't talk to me. I, I, I don't know how we're going to work that out. Homeboy about to smash. See, still disrespecting me. Um, all right, guys, we're going to go. I really appreciate everybody. Somebody said the show was awkward, Melly. Was it? You guys didn't have fun? I'm going to yell. I'm upset. I hope you guys had fun. I don't know. I had fun. It was, it was cool. Um, so that's it. We're going to go. Guys, I appreciate you. Thank you for coming. And uh, I will see you. Um, when, when will I see you? Oh, uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. I, I'll be forgetting. Uh, also, guys, I forgot to say it, but because I was in the hot seat, not really thinking. I was so enamored by all these lovely men. Um, if you want to donate, this is the cash app for the show. So I know it's kind of late, but hey, I've had some great donation all night, so I'm not even upset about nothing. But yes, that's Meli, tell us more about you cheating. I didn't cheat. What are you talking about? Uh, getting kicked out for cheating. I didn't cheat. <laughs> the fuck? Um, that's all, guys. We're leaving. Host, conflict of interest. Was it a conflict of interest? Uh, uh, wait. So, some people... <laughs> Oh my God. Wow. What the hell? Yo. Wow. Okay. We'll talk. That, that's pretty crazy. Uh, yeah. I got some, some weird, weird shit just now. Okay, guys. Well, thank you so much. I hope we, we see each other again on uh, Wednesday. And I love you. I appreciate you. I hope it was a good 100th episode. And uh, I'll see you for 101 on Wednesday. Good night.